I am super excited. I just got this brand new crock pot, the crock pot slow cooker. Look how gorgeous it looks. I've had my other crock pot for probably like 10 years. The re it's still it's still great actually. But the reason I got this crock pot is because my old one was the manual knob and this one has an auto warm setting, which is gonna be great now that the kids are older. I can t uh, toss in any food. We can be at lessons and if this finishes cooking, it'll automatically switch to warm and be ready for when we get home. This has the locking lid for mess-free travel, easy carry handles, customize your cook time in 30 minute increments up to 20 hours. It has a digital display, the removable stoneware, which is this black part right here. It's dishwasher safe, the auto warm, which is again why I bought it, and this beautiful stainless steel finish, which actually matches my stove and microwave. So I'm super excited. I am going to cook up some ground beef and then I'm gonna be making something in here. So I will show you how these buttons work. I just finished filling up my crock pot. It looks delicious. And I'm gonna put the lid on. Remember, and it says this is in the instructions to do not seal these because it could lead to a lot of pressure and then the glass breaking. So you're not gonna to wanna to actually shut it. This is only for when you're transporting it and it says that in the directions. Okay, so I have it plugged in to the back of my wall here. You wanna make sure you're plugging it in there, not on the side of the cabinet. Again, another hazard. Okay, so I am going to cook it. It's 1.30, two, three, four, five. So probably on, we'll do it on low. On low and we're gonna do it for four hours. No, we'll do it for three and a half. Okay, I went back and read the directions. It says high for two to three hours or on low for five to six hours. I don't have five to six hours, so I'm gonna put it on high for three hours and 30 minutes, and then that's it. It's supposed to switch to keep warm when it's done. So there we go. We will see how it warms up. I can already feel it starting to warm up. I'm excited to let you know how this ends up working out. I'm gonna update you. My crock pot was on high and it turned to warm like it was supposed to. I had to add some pasta in here and continue cooking it for an additional 20 minutes. So that's what I'm doing, but I can verify that it automatically turned to warm. But I did wanna tell you that our power actually went out about an hour ago and I came to check my crock pot and like with a normal dial crock pot, it would obviously just turn back on to the dial you had it. But with this one, everything was blinking and it reset. So if you have a power outage, this is probably, you know, in those cases, the food is not gonna automatically continue to be cooking in the event of a short power outage. You'll have to go and reset it. So that is a con that I have just recently found out. And this is what it looks like when it is on keep warm. You see the clock will go out and it just shifts to keep warm. And there you have it overall. Not a bad crock pot, I like it, but just be aware, if there is a power outage, you will have to come and readjust it. And other than that, it, oh, and actually the outside gets super hot. My other crock pot, not like I had my hand on it, but I could touch it. This one like burns on the outside. It is very hot. I'm not sure if my other one was just on the fritz, but this one definitely gets a lot warmer. So if you're keeping it on the counter and you have little hands, they could definitely burn themselves touching the outside. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you like product reviews and I will see you in the next one. Bye.